In this presentation, you will learn about gender and caste through the works of Gail Omvet, Leela Dubey, and Sharmila Rege. While diversity and pluralism remain a defining feature of Indian society, the same is true about its inequalities and social discrimination. Caste exclusion and discrimination is deeply ingrained in the Indian psyche. An equal damage has been done to the status of women through century-old patriarchy in the Indian society. The casteist Indian society with its inequitable gender approach and attitude poses a grave problem for the socio-economic well-being of the Dalit women specifically. This is not to deny that Dalits and women in general do not suffer in these existing social setups. What is implied here is the fact that Dalit women suffer double marginalization due to their caste and gender statuses. Women from lower castes are exploited and discriminated in more than one way, thus placing them at the margin of margins. In fact, it would not be wrong to say that the unequal position of women has interconnections with the caste system from ancient times. Along with social division of labor, caste in the Indian society ensured sexual division of labor as well. As caste is infused into socio-political setup, the Indian society becomes even more discriminatory and exclusivist. While we proclaim to be democratic and liberal, caste politics and hierarchies continue to dominate the social, political and economic aspects of Indian society. The political setup of the Indian society gives identity to caste associations as they continue to exhibit significance and relevance. Caste-based hierarchies and identities still continue to govern Indians' way of thinking. We will explore the intersectional aspects of the unending oppression that particularly women from lower castes face. This will be done through exploring the work done by women writers. We will also look upon the works from the subalterns that highlight the politics of representation, Anti-Caste and Women's Struggle by Gail Omvid. Gail Omvid, an American by birth, is an Indian sociologist and human rights activist. She has worked and published on topics that deal with issues of Dalits, anti-caste movements, women's struggles, farmers' movements. Basically, Omvet academically writes at the intersections of caste, gender, and class. The marginalized communities remain the main focus of her intellectual indulgence. Through her various critical works, Omvet presents a critique of the Brahmanical texts that aim at caste and gender subjugation. Century-old prevalence of caste-based discrimination has been due to the religious scriptures of Hinduism she opined. In one of her phenomenal works, Understanding Caste, Omvet explores the historical issues of caste-based discrimination and anti-caste struggles where Brahmanism remains the backbone of the Hindu tradition and thus continues to influence the essence of Indian tradition. This work also conducts an inquiry into the aspects of Hinduism that emphasize patriarchy and thereby justify the inferior position of women. Omvet argues how India came to be identified largely as a Hindu nation and how Hinduism has identified as the religion of Pan-India. The entire social, political and economic life came to be governed by the Vedas and Upanishads and all Hindu Brahminic scriptures. These eventually led to the anti-caste struggles, Dalit politics that challenged the hegemony and supremacy of the Brahmins. This also resulted in the birth of religions such as Buddhism, Jainism and Sikhism to counter forces to deal with Brahmanical supremacy. Ombed ideologically agreed with Ambedkar's thoughts and actions. For Ambedkar, Brahmanism was responsible for most of the evils affecting India and Buddhism was its main potential alternative. In fact, the anti-caste movements and struggles got radically influenced by Ambedkar and his logical inclination towards Buddhism, a religion that radically started opposing Brahmanism in newer ways. In a publication titled Seeking Begampura, 
the social visions of anti caste intellectuals ombed outlines the socio economic perspectives of leading anti caste intellectuals spanning over 5 centuries during the modern era that these centuries witnessed we also see the exchange with europe colonization rise of subaltern identities amongst others these intellectuals seem to have shaped and developed the anti caste and women's movements to great heights Omvet uses the framework of historical materialism of Marxism and recommends its extension to peasants, women, tribals, Dalits and low castes and oppressed nationalities besides the industrial factory workers. Omvet also considers caste as synonymous with race as both intend to subjugate groups of people on the basis of birth and social hierarchy. Challenging the Brahminic patriarchy thus remains the core of Omvet's writings. Gender Studies in India Leela Dubey Leela Dubey a feminist scholar writer and anthropologist is renowned for her work on kinship matrilineal and gender Dubey explores the idea of family structure kinship sexual relations and eventually caste to show their effects individually as well as together as a complex on the gender roles in society Her works focused on the idea that gender differences are culturally located and produced also projected as being a natural biological outcome. Dubey is known for bringing gender issues and women's studies into mainstream anthropology and sociology. Within the context of kinship studies, Dubey explored the process of socialization especially of girls in a predominantly patriarchal setup. Being influenced from the women's movements, Dubey sought to understand the gender concerns not merely to see the position of women but also to challenge and change the gender relations and outlooks. She attempted to make academics gender sensitive. Dubey undertook an exemplary work for her doctoral dissertation on Gond women from Nagpur University. Till then, women were marginally represented in social research agenda. and as such while research on tribes dominated anthropological works tribal women remained least represented which dubey sought to intervene with her intensive field work dubey is known to have struggled a long way to make gender issues equally important in sociology as well as anthropology as women were not academically recognized as a marginalized group and hence were never spoken or discussed about Leela Dubey considered the usage of man as a generic term in social sciences as misleading, harmful and underrepresenting umbrella term to subsume women under it. According to Krishna Raj, Dubey devised new analytical frameworks by bringing in folklore and symbolic representations of women's position to show its ideological influence. Dubey gave a famous formulation, seed and soil. as a reproductive symbolic device with which man's role in reproduction is given primacy over that of a woman who is regarded as a passive recipient thus patriarchy ensured sexual control over women by justifying that men play a superior role in this process in her autobiographical account dubey acknowledges the impression that the figure of her own mother as a complex of roles and responsibilities an embodiment of care and affection which are also expressed through the re- relational idiom of food with her own self explorations dubey sought to bring in the intricacies of women situations and women men relations the context of matrilineal and so on in the humanities and social sciences thus challenging the whole idea of value neutrality Her constant touch with the ground reality is also what makes Dubey's contributions authentic and highly acceptable. Dalit feminist standpoint views of Sharmila Rege. Sharmila Rege has been a distinguished feminist sociologist having worked on the intersections of caste, class and gender. Rege contributed influential research as she also headed the Kranti Jyoti Savitri Bai Phule Women's Studies Center at the University of Pune. Her work draws attention for its underlying feminist debates about caste, religion, gender, sexuality, women's movement and Dalit literature. Rege insisted upon the narratives and local knowledge and as such oral traditions 
particularly of the marginalized, showing deep-rooted commitment for them. In an attempt to highlight the importance of the politics of lived experiences of caste in academics, Rege, through her book Writing Caste, Writing Gender, Narrating Dalit Women's Testimonies, presents eight such narratives of Dalit women with special emphasis on their misery, Dalit feminine movements and their apparent caste struggles that together signify Dalit women's struggles within the larger anti-caste movement. Whether caste or tribe, the eight narratives show the extent of abject poverty, discrimination and deprivation that untouchable women experience within the Indian context. Rege was a pioneer of Dalit feminist standpoint as she emphasized the social location of women in question in order to understand how caste or class interact with gender and results in their struggle for survival in a caste-dominated hegemonic society. As Dhanagare puts it, Rege firmly believed that gender studies and Dalit studies were organically linked. She pursuantly criticized sociological research for being male-dominated and gender-insensitive. For Rege, women's lifespan cannot be generalized with that of men's and hence needed attention in a historical context. Rege, being a prolific writer and an activist, successfully brought in the structural violence of caste and its linkages with sexuality and labor into the feminist discourse, in particular, and academics in general. Hence, Rege is claimed to have a Dalit feminist standpoint which aims at emancipation and liberation as she explores the category of Dalit women to understand how caste, gender, class, sexuality construct each other. Thank you for watching the presentation.